Everyone's always looking for a quick fix. How can I boost my testosterone quickly? How can I have better, stronger, longer erections? And today we're going to be talking about Tomcat Ali and specifically the impact on erectile dysfunction, testosterone, and even stress. They looked at erectile function after using Tomcat Ali. They didn't find that there was a statistically significant difference using Tomcat Ali versus using a placebo pill or using a sugar pill. But in the group that had more severe erectile dysfunction, they actually know that there was a little bit more of a benefit. You aren't really just eating or getting the testosterone in in your system is actually allowing the free testosterone, which is normally bound to sex hormone binding globulin to be released. And so that you have a higher level of your testosterone that you already have. And it's more available for the tissues to use for all the benefits that it provides, including increase in libido, muscle mass, cognition, a number of other things. There's also a thought that it might help reduce the metabolism of testosterone, meaning that your body uses testosterone and then it kind of degrades it or gets rid of it in the system, but it keeps it from degrading too quickly so that it's around for a longer period of time. So there's actually a number of studies that have been done on this. All of them had very promising results in that their serum testosterone levels did increase statistically significantly. What does that mean? That they increased and it couldn't be by chance based on the statistical modeling that was done for the paper. And so this is a real true increase in the testosterone levels. So does it help with testosterone? Seems like it does. There was one good study that was done on sub-fertile men, meaning men who had abnormal parameters on a semen analysis. They found that there was an increase in sperm concentration that was, again, statistically significant. And there was an increase in having normal morphology on their follow-up semen analyses after taking Tomcat Ali. So this is a very small study, but it does show some promising results. I think particularly because if you're taking testosterone replacement, that will make you infertile in men who have low testosterone. This may be an option. Of course, you would need to have a dosing of Tonkat Ali that is appropriate and has been regulated. I wanted to touch on the adverse events that have been reported for Tonkat Ali, meaning what are the side effects? And there's only been a couple. It's been irritability, insomnia, and restlessness. So if you are going to start this supplement, please talk to your doctor about if this is right for you. When you hear hormones in sports, you always think, just the raw conversation about anabolics, all the banned stuff. There's a category of supplements that are very interesting. For most people who aren't exploring testosterone augmentation for sport, work very well to increase testosterone by about 100 to 200 points. And the main ones are two substances. One is called Tongat Ali. What happens is the testosterone molecule, it's basically carried in a cargo. So it can be in its free form, unbound form, free testosterone. So you don't want all your testosterone free. You want some of it bound up so that it can be delivered to the different tissues, including your brain. But if you have too much sex hormone binding globulin, the testosterone can't really do its things. Tonga Ali, about 400 milligrams per day, has the effect of raising free testosterone and overall testosterone by about 100 to 200 points. And another one which is very interesting, it's a Nigerian shrub called Phadogia agrestis, and it mimics luteinizing hormone, which is the hormone that comes out of the hypothalamus that stimulates the testes if you got those and your ovaries if you've got those to make more testosterone. Those two herbal supplements together can give a significant boost in free and active testosterone. Fidogia is usually taken at about 600 milligrams. The most dramatic effect I've ever seen was somebody who had his testosterone down in the low twos and it, he got it up to the 700 range, which, but that's an outlier, right? Most people are gonna see about a three to 400 point increase.